Hello there and welcome to Willow Knits at the Walter Maddie Wool Show 2021. I'm going to show you the yarns that I've got to offer, what I can, what you can make with them, uh, various patterns and things that we have in our shop and uh, also let you know about a pattern special offer and a discount code that applies for the show. So without further ado, let's set off and talk about the yarns. Now, this is all our main yarn, which is a worsted weight yarn, which is in between a double knitting and an aran. Um, I use a four millimeter needle, but it knits up thicker than double knitting. But there's loads of patterns for this on, uh, on Ravelry and Love Knitting. And um, also I've got a few myself, which I'll be showing you later on. It's a fairly softly spun yarn. And um, we've got a nice range of colours from uh, the semi-solid, which you can see behind me. And we also do a, a few variegated colours, like this one, which is cornflower blue, which is a mixture of three shades of blue. Um, if you're not sure about how any of them might look next to each other, if you want to knit a two-colour effort, um, just email us and we can then um, get in touch with you and uh, take a photograph and see how things go. And if you don't see precisely what you want here, again, get in touch with us. We're always happy to consider custom orders. And um, you know, if we haven't got enough of one particular colour, we can dye some more for you. So nothing's a problem for us. Now, let me show you the new um, Pantone colours of the year for 2021. This year, they've done a rather nice sort of Scandinavian inspired sort of double colour way. So and it actually coincides with two of our stock colours. So let me show you those put together. Now it's, as I say, it's a sort of Scandinavian style. It's a sort of silver and lemon. And here we have it. And uh, we've got plenty of both colours in stock. And uh, I think they look quite nice together. So there we have that. And you might be wondering, what can I, it's lovely yarn, but what can I make with it? And I'll sh let me show you a few patterns. Firstly, we've got our very popular Bolero. Let's reach over and grab that and hold it up so you can see it. Now this is um, a pattern that's available. It's my own design and it's a good feature. It's got no side seam. So it's, what we do is start with a lot of stitches on a circular needle and you work back and forth up to the arm holes then you divide and work on straight needles and do the back and the two shoulder areas in in separately this there's seaming on the shoulder and then of course you make two sleeves and sew those in there's provision in the pattern to make it slightly longer either in the sleeves or in the on the side actually one of the ladies in my knitting guild group made the sleeves Sort of continued making them straight but she made them much sort of elbow length and it looked very nice and uh, the edging is knitted on at the same time so there's no picking up stitches or anything difficult like that and what I've done to make the edging a bit neater is to just do some double crochet around it and that also makes the you reach out with the chain and double crochet back and it makes these ties you will need something a bit heavy to weigh the ties down but you don't have to do that at all you could just put a nice uh, button or fastening at the edge there um, the pattern for this is available in our etsy shop and i'll just put this to one side we've got uh, a special offer on patterns so that if you buy the yarn and the pattern at the same time then i'll refund you half the cost of your pattern now the, the uh, pattern goes from a size 32 to about 54. So there should be something to fit everybody there. Uh, so again, if you've got any problems or worries, contact us and we'll see what we can do for you. Now, another pattern that we've got in our shop is for another of one of my designs. It's knitted again, and that's for this uh, rather nice wrap. And uh, it's an interesting construction, which is usually a code for saying it's rather difficult. But if you can cable and you can uh, do lace, a very simple lace, then it's for you. You start by making, let's just tuck that under my chin, and you start by making this back panel, and then you pick up stitches and knit out one way, pick up stitches and knit out the other way to make the two, uh, two wings of the wrap both uh, identical. 
and it's finished with a pico edge which makes rather a nice decorative finish and it takes three skeins of yarn and again the um, the offer for the pattern applies the same with that if you buy the pattern and the yarn at the same time then I'll refund you half the cost of the pattern and uh, if you if you want to make a gift we also do it in a kit and in this case we've got uh, three skeins of yarn which are wound up into balls so that's more convenient there's the pattern and there's also some stitch holders which you'll need for doing the edging and it's all done up with a nice bow in a useful box so that's handy if you fancy it perhaps for your treat for yourself or uh, you want to sort of give it as a gift to somebody that would be nice let me put that back and if you like crochet we also have a pattern for another wrap and this was uh, not designed by me it's by um, Valerie Bracegirdle who you might know as agrarian artisan on Ravelry and she's done this for me it's called Queen of the May because it was in Inside Crochet magazine in their May issue a couple of years ago and they wanted something with nice spring colours so we chose these and um, it's another uh, interesting construction you start with six granny squares in alternate colours and then you, you join those as you go and then you pick up a knit, knit pardon me you pick up and crochet um, in the a chevron pattern down one side it's green with a lemon stripe and it just finishes with a contrast color on the edge and there's some little pico bits there just to sort of make a nice neat edge and the other half of it is reversed so that when you and nice thing of doing the pattern one way and then the other is that you get the zigzags going out the same way on both ends of the wrap so it looks particularly nice now you could all do, do this in uh, in one color it actually takes four skeins and the same offer on the pattern applies um, if you want to see how how, how colours look next to each other then just contact me and I can always send you a quick photograph on email so that's that one now another weight of yarn we've got is four ply let me grab my basket and I'll show you what's there oh it's rather heavy but here we are and it's uh, this is, these are the colours we've got in stock at the moment I'll also be dyeing something in um, a tone we call caramel which I'll be showing you on a model later um, but uh, likewise if I say if there's not enough there for your product contact, contact us and we can dye some for you um, it's a pure silk yarn and it's a little bit finer than normal for apply so I would if I was knitting with this I'd use a three millimeter needle as opposed to three and a quarter and this it comes in 100 gram balls which are these and we also do 50 gram ones so that you can buy the precise amount that you might need it makes up on three millimeters makes up to a standard tension so and there's about 400 meters per 100 gram ball that gives you some idea of your quantities let me just pop that back and you should say to yourself what can I make with it well for I haven't got any knitting patterns for it but crochet you could make this delightful scarf which is um, again designed by Valerie Brace Girdle and another another interesting construction you start with a chain working up the center you work out in one color rejoin work out in the other now it looks like some fiendishly complicated filet crochet but it isn't it's just chains and trebles and if you can do those two stitches you'll be absolutely fine with it and it comes in a kit which I will just show you and we've got that here and uh, there's a choice of about five or six different colors and uh, this is the one the original one and you get uh, the yarn the pattern and a stitch marker which is a, our gift to you They're all done up in a nice bag so that uh, it would make a nice gift or a treat for yourself and obviously a useful product bag for keeping it in and there we have it and also another design by Valerie is it's this is snood and um, it's uh, 
done it. This is the caramel colour that I was talking about earlier and I'll be dyeing some before the show. So uh, if it's not in the shop, contact us and we can get some for you. And uh, this is my disembodied head. And uh, this is rather nice, uh, lovely lacy design with a scalloped edge. As I say, it's made in the caramel colour. It takes 150 grams of our four ply yarn, but you could make quite, if you don't want the full snood, you could make a really nice cowl with 100 grams. Just sort of keep going with the repeats of the pattern until you run out of yarn. And it makes a, you know, a very nice, uh, very nice garment. Oops, that's slipped off. Let me put them back. Now, another final uh, weight yarn we do is lace weight. We don't do an awful lot of it, but we've got, so we've got some, I'll show you what we've got in stock. And again, if you, you know, want a different colour, there's or more quantities, let us know and we can dye some for you. If I start with, this basket is a mixture of wool and silk. It's 80% uh, wool, 20% silk. And as you can see, the colours are quite, quite pastel and heathery. It's interesting to know how the uh, different yarns take the dye differently. Because uh, that one here is a, this blue-violet colour, and they were in the same dye bath. And as you can see, the wool takes up the dye less brightly than the silk. Uh, these are a standard lace weight, about 800 metres per 100 gram. And I'll show you some others that we have. Let me just reach for another basket. And here it is. This one, we've got uh, alpaca and silk. That's about a 70-30 ratio. And we've got pure silk. The alpaca and silk is a very fine yarn. It's uh, 1,200 metres per 100 grams. And um, it's great if you want to make a cobweb shawl. Or if not, uh, it would also be nice, perhaps sort of mixed with another yarn to use double. And... Um, it would give us a sort of fluffy halo emphasis on something. And these are, on this side are the pure silk yarns. They're more a standard lace weight of 800 metres per 100 gram. And uh, the colours are, much, as you can see, more vibrant. These two at the bottom here, they're both the same colour, which is cranberry red. As you can see, the silk has taken the dye much more vividly than the, uh, the alpaca. So there we have it. Oh, dear me. Right, and what we're going to say next? I think that's about everything. Let me tell you about discounts. We, I've already mentioned the patterns which will apply. And also, during the show, we're having a 10% off promotion so that um, you can uh, just type in the code WAWS2021 at the checkout and 10% will automatically be taken off. And the pattern discount will apply as well as that so you'll get if you buy your pattern and your yarn then uh, you'll still get ha half of what you paid for the pattern deducted too. Uh, shipping is free worldwide so all our prices which um, actually are in American dollars because it's something historical on our website um, but it translates it, it's roughly about sort of about 20 pounds for these uh, about 22 or three pounds for the four ply and a little bit more for the lace but as i say that does include um, all your shipping and postage and packing so there won't be anything extra to pay once you've worked out how much for the yarn and uh, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, i hope you enjoy the show and everything that they've got to offer thank you